Alright, so in today's video, I did a complete transformation of my brother's entire gaming setup. When it comes to raw specs, my brother's PC and his setup is really good. He has two 240Hz monitors, and he has a 3700X and a 2070. However, where he lacks is aesthetics, but that's where I come in. At the very end, there will be a setup montage, but if you want to see each and every step, then the show starts now. Alright, so I finally cleared the space that we're going to be putting his new setup. And basically, we have a bunch of packages of a bunch of stuff that we bought for a setup. We have this IKEA Ek back in, which is 98 inches, and we got it for $50. And then we got this Alex drawer for about $70, and those are deals for $4 each. So in total, his desk was about $128. And if you thought I lied, I'd never lie to you. It was $50 instead of $100. I actually added an extra leg. Here's a look at the completed desk. The desk is 96 inches or 98 inches long. Three deals, which are $4 each. This was $50. The whole top was $50. And then this was $70. 70 plus 50, 120 plus 12, 132. Right, Bam. So now that the desk is complete, we have a ton of boxes to unbox. The first thing that I'm going to unbox today is the Vivo dual monitor mount. This is a dual monitor mount that I'm going to put for my brother's two 240 Hz monitors. He has two Alienware 240Hz monitors. Don't ask me why. And it's all in this box. The next thing I'm going to unbox is, I think it's four plants. So yeah, it is four plants. So we did get some plants for them from Ikea, but I didn't know we were getting them. So I bought these in advance. But these are just four little plants. I don't know if we'll use them. I might use them for, for a different thing, but yeah. Next thing we got is already in box. It's a mouse bungee. So we got my brother a black mouse bungee. It's from Glorious, and I have a white one. It's pretty cool. Honestly, though, these are kind of a waste of money, but they do have a place, so yeah. All right, so the next package is, I'm pretty sure this isn't actually for the desk. It's acoustic foam. So I'm going to be putting this on the wall behind where his webcam would sit. And we're going to make the background of his stream look really nice. And lastly, we have this box, which I'm pretty sure has like 10 different things. Most of this stuff, I think, is going to be for cable management. So we have two display port cables. Yeah, so these are like Velcro straps. Some cable management stuff, you know the vibes. These are like wall raceways. Got my boy a power strip. A desk mount for his webcam so we have some velcro that we're gonna mount his power strip onto um, when it comes to cable management if you have anything heavy that you're mounting on the bottom of your desk like a power strip or a mixer not necessarily a mixer but like an audio interface anything heavy really maybe even a dock honestly there's so many things you can mount on your desk that's heavy but I recommend using velcro because velcro doesn't fall off like double-sided tape would Alright, so the camera cut out, but the last thing that was in there were cable raceways. So pretty much that box is just basically everything for cable management, and probably more than I needed. But we have Velcro for the power strip, which is right here. Cable raceways, extra long display port, and some cable ties, mouse bungee, some wall cable management stuff, the dual monitor mount, acoustic foam, the webcam mount and then I have zip ties and stuff like that already so I do not need that but basically we're gonna make it set up into one of the cleanest setups probably cleaner than mine because I got a lot going on now that the dual monitor mount is finally up we will be cable managing if you're wondering why we don't have the monitors right now it's because my brother's monitors as well as his PC they're both at his girlfriend's house. So right now we're just going to cable manage. In terms of cables, I'm going to be using everything that I've learned throughout all of my setups. And honestly, my brother's cables, you won't see a single one, I'm going to be honest. Just undoing this cord. Honestly, probably won't need 10 feet because it's only right there. 
but I didn't. I wanted to make sure I had no limitations. All right, so the next thing I grabbed was Velcro. Velcro is so important. Like I said earlier, it's for mounting like heavy stuff. So I'm gonna be using probably just. I'm honestly, I could use nails too, but like, eh. Um, I'm gonna use two of these Velcro strips because I honestly have extra. So I'm gonna use these two and these two. So four total, but I guess this is one. This is one. So now I gotta figure out exactly where I wanna put it. I think I wanna put it somewhere like right back here in that spot. Or I could put it, honestly, I'm gonna put it more like on this side, probably right in the middle, because when it comes to his PC, we're gonna be putting his PC on that side of the desk or on this side of the desk over here. So it would only make sense to put it in the middle because say like there's a power cord, that isn't, that if I put over here, it wouldn't be long enough to get over there with some slack, and I need slack so I could cable manage. So I'm going to put it, honestly, right there somewhere. Alright, honestly, I didn't know this would be this perfect, and most of the time, I frown at people when they round, not round, but run this cable up a leg, but in this case, it only makes so much sense, it's like right next to it. And now I have my bag of zip ties. We're gonna wrap this cable up there, and honestly, now I'm gonna use this. And now we have it managed up, but now we have this extra cord. So that's where these raceways come in. All right, by the way, this is something I 100% wanna talk about. The point of my brother's setup is to be modular, but clean at the same time. In the past, he's had a setup with really nice gear, but he's never been able to cable manage or anything like that just because he rotates between his girlfriend's house and the house that my parents own so my house but yeah so he hasn't been able to do that so the whole point of this is we're gonna have a bunch of extra sets of cables basically for when he goes to his girlfriend's house he's just gonna have a bag that he brings and he's gonna take off one of his monitors so that's pretty much what we're doing we're basically getting an extra set of cables routing it making it look extra nice and basically he's gonna have another bag that he can bring to his girlfriends and I'm honestly gonna give him a keyboard too, where is it? I'm gonna give him this keyboard. It's an RK61 with Gator on Browns. The reason why is because then he won't have to bring another keyboard. And what else did I give him? He does like to stream too, but he focuses more on competitive. So I bought him this desk mount um, thing. But basically it's the difference between this one and mine is that this one's a clamp. Like a clamp shell rather than like a C clamp. And the reason why I did that was so that it was easier to take off, I guess. Camera died, but RGB strip on. It looks clean and it looks simple. Gonna be using this acoustic foam. I'm either gonna put it on that wall because that would be the background of his stream, or I put it behind his setup. I'm honestly not sure yet. Fortunately, I had to use pins for now, but eventually we'll get the thin ones that don't show at all and it would look really clean. Alright, so the next thing we're going to install is this desk mount webcam. Now that we got that situated, let's figure out this mouse bungee. So I'm gifting my boy Jay my RK61 and this is mouse bungee that I bought him, but this is his model. This is not his model, this is my old model. Nothing's wrong with it. I personally just like a smaller mouse. So. This is gonna look really clean in his setup. It's gonna pop so much. But yeah, so this has Gator on Browns if you're, if you're wondering. All right, so let's talk about plants. I got him this plant from Ikea, and I got him these four plants from Amazon. I think this one should go over here, and these four, we'll still see where these will go. I feel like the white contrasts really well with the gray top, and I honestly think it's gonna look so dope. Alright, so I've pretty much done everything that I could so far. Here's what the setup's looking like right now. I have pretty much all the cables routed through your power and display port, your power and display port, all of his PC cables, his mouse and keyboard, the plants, pretty much everything is ready for him. He's gonna have his two 240 Hz monitors as well as his PC, so that's gonna look really dope. Here's a quick look at the cable management. I think it looks pretty good. Alright, so this is post, that's why I have a different shirt on and I got a haircut. But the setup transformation took about 6-7 hours, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. So, without further ado, here goes the setup montage. Mm -hmm. 